You didn't hear it wrong. Be my date. Hmm. I. I. I've thought it all through. It's part of my plan to make you feel fiercely jealous. What you need to do now is ignore him and run up to me. Just focus on me. Hey, stop following me. Do you know that? Hey, breakfast yet? Come grab a bite with me. Let's go. What is this? I thought he'd keep trailing me, but then he gave up so easily. Why am I even thinking about this anyway? This dude's really good at getting under my skin. Hey, look over there. Aren't they our seniors, Elio and Gray? I heard they're dating. Oh, they look adorable together, don't they? <laughs> Something stuck in your hair. All right. Thanks. Since that day, Elio and I have been inseparable, and the whole school was buzzing about our dating. I'm heading home now. Bye. Having fun, huh? Theo, what are you talking about? Saw you with your new friend. Must be fun, right? I thought you genuinely wanted to apologize to me, and I was waiting to see how sincere you would be before deciding whether to forgive you or not. But that's only lasted a couple of days, huh? And see you. You're eager to chase after your new friend that much. Oh, or is it your new boyfriend, as everyone's been saying? You're going too far, Theo. Elio is my friend. Me and him, we. First, it was Mina, and now Elio. Are you so desperate that you can be friends with anyone? We've been friends for so long, but I never thought you'd have this kind of personality. I've never been like that, Theo. How could you be so harsh to me? You know what I hate the most? That's ones who cannot keep their word, and I despise loose people too, just like you. If you feel that way about me, then we have no reason to see each other anymore. Fine, let's end this friendship here. I guess this is all your damn sincerity amounts to. Why did I say those words? I didn't know why my chest felt tight when I saw his face, and had no idea what kind of emotions I was suffering right now. Was it anger or jealousy when seeing my best friend with someone else? I cried a lot that night. I couldn't believe that the person I loved the most could say such hurtful words to me. Morning, Gray. What's wrong with your eyes? Have you been crying? Elio, I think we can put an end to this. Theo will never have any feelings for me. He spoke about me in a very terrible way. Even our friendship is no more. Oh my! How is this even possible? I can see his feelings for you written all over his face. I'm leaving now. Wait! During these days we spent together, did you feel happy? Why you ask? Of course I did. So did I, and even more than that. To me, these days weren't fake at all. If I told you I had feelings for you for real, what would you say? This is getting annoying. Gray, come with me. Gray, you haven't answered my question. Let go of him. He's coming with me. You should be the one letting go. He's not going anywhere. Who do you think you are to take him away? I heard you two aren't even friends anymore. None of your business. Stop hovering around and tormenting him. Do you even care about his feelings? He can only have a new friend if I allow it. Step aside before I punch you. What if I say no? The atmosphere grew incredibly tense. With Elio and Theo grabbing each other's shirts and starting exchanging blows unstoppably, this left me extremely confused. Stop it, both of you! <sighs> I grabbed Theo's hand and pulled him away from there. What's going on with you? Just cutting out your ridiculous nonsense at school. It's really annoying. What did I do? I thought you liked Mina, and now Elio, that dude, is your backup plan. Wow, you're such an expert. Stop talking. Your wound is bleeding. Don't touch me. You really don't know anything about me. Do you even know who I'm doing all this for? Why should I care? I got so angry that I even hiccuped. My gaze met Theo's, 
and then I moved forward to kiss him. I like you, Theo. I've liked you for so many years, and it irks me every time I see you laughing and talking with someone else. In those moments, I just wish I could buy your emotions, so you would only laugh and look at me. Hearing that, Theo stood dumbfounded. His face frowned, and as soon as he put his hand on his lips, I regret kissing him. Do you know why I've never told you until now? Because I'm afraid to see your expression right now. Gray, I ah, it hurts. Elio, about what you said earlier, was just a joke, right? Do you think it was a joke or real? Right now, there's no one else in my head but Theodore. I just confessed to him a while ago. You did? Yeah, and seems like I got rejected. I was stunned. My longtime close friend confessed that he had feelings for me. I don't know how to deal with this. Gray hasn't been to school for a week straight. I've tried to reach out to him, but haven't got any response. I've been in a daze head in the clouds all day long. The sensation is really uncomfortable. He really likes you. That's why I came up with a plan to pretend that he and I were dating to make you jealous. But I never expected that I would develop feelings for Gray. I like him. I like his gaze, and I like the way he smiles. I'm willing to wait until he likes me back. So if you don't have any feelings for him at all, then please reject him straightforwardly. Do you know where Gray is now? I haven't seen him in a while. Hasn't he told you anything? He's about to study abroad. His parents want him to major in fine arts. When is he leaving? Probably this weekend. I immediately ran to Gray's house. Gray, I want to talk to you. I heard you are going to study abroad. That's right. My parents want me to major in fine arts. Actually, I plan to meet you for farewell too. Why are you leaving so soon? Mm, my parents had mentioned it a long time ago. I was hesitant as I like you and wanted to stay with you longer. But now I don't have a reason to stay anymore. Gray, we've been friends for long, haven't we? Can't we continue being friends like we used to? We can't. Theo, we've been friends for over 10 years and I've always liked you during that whole time. That was too long for me already. Can I write you letters? Just like that, Gray disappeared from my life forever. But a place in my heart was always reserved for him. And the memories kept rushing back to me whenever I passed by a familiar place we used to go together. I send letters to Gray every month. Gray replies just occasionally, but it was enough to make me happy. He told me a lot about his new life, the new city he was living in, and even about his studies. I also told him how much I miss him. Entering college, I tried to hang out with many girls, but every time I wanted to take things further, the memory of that kiss with Theo flooded back into my mind. I realized that I was so into him. I always regretted that moment. If I had been brave enough to confess my feelings, Perhaps Gray wouldn't have left. Since he'd gone, it felt like I'd lost a piece of myself. I became more reserved and just withdrew into myself. It felt like there was no vitality left in my entire <laughs> being. Time just kept passing by. Hello there. You're back again? A beer, please. Oh, it's been five out of seven days in this week that you've been here. Stop coming. I'm tired of looking at your face. <laughs> hey, Greg. Elio and I have been talking, and we've become closer somehow. He opened a small bar, and I often draw by. Lately, I've been drinking quite a bit. It's been a while since I've heard back from you. Is everything okay? Hey, he's up on the booze, mate. 
Have you caught up with Gray lately? Gray? No, I haven't. Are you still sending letters to him? How persistent! Ah, uh, I haven't told you yet. I will see a girl tomorrow. I've heard your mom's been urging a lot. Yeah, I declined it many times, but tomorrow might be inevitable. My mom is quite pleased with her family, so she wants us to get married. And you really want to do it? It's time to let go of the past and start anew, don't you think? How's your date today? Everything went smoothly. My mom is really eager for me to have a girlfriend. But what matters is you. Do you like that girl? I'm not sure. Just like that, Elio and I drank together for quite a while. My head was pounding, so I slumped over the table. Then a slender figure walked in. It was Gray. He was here. When I woke up, I saw Elio and Gray chatting cheerfully. Want a drink? Is that Gray? Am I dreaming? He's standing with Elio with that dang smile. Why are you here now? Why? Pio, I was on my way to start a new life. I might marry a woman and forget about you. Why are you showing up now? Why? Pio, I, I'm sorry. No, don't be. I won't be able to forget you ever. I know it. I love you, Gray. The next morning. As I woke up from the hangover, I found Gray lying next to me. This isn't a dream, is it? You're awake. Are you for real? Why are you here? We met at Elio's bar last night. Don't you remember? I immediately embraced Gray tightly in happiness, tears streaming down my face. This time. I promised myself I wouldn't let him go. I and Gray lay side by side, and then I just tenderly gazed at the face I had been secretly longing for all this time. Gray, do you know how jealous I felt when I saw you laughing with Elio yesterday? This feeling was exactly like the one I experienced five years ago when I saw you with Mina. I think I've liked you since then, yet failed to realize it. I don't blame you. We were just too young back then. I'll tell my mother the whole truth: that I can't marry that girl. You're the only one I love and want to marry. I've wasted five years of my life just to realize that. Gray, promise me you won't leave again. I won't. I promise.